Nice. All right. Alan, there's a whole bunch of these socket mm. head. Yep. I need four. It's yeah, a small ones fit, short man. Ones. Does it matter, Alan? Yeah, just, just hey, that fan even get any air out. <laughs> hey, hey, Alan, we're not going to be able to screw the top down. <laughs> Why? Because the screws are underneath the bar. How close can we use we'll those the, we'll short get the, Allen? We'll get the screws are underneath the bar? Yep. Look. Oh. This side, anyways. The rest of them well, are fine. You always find a small problem. We didn't even put this bar in. How did that happen? Time to pause. Or so as you guys can see here, Jack is covering the connectors that come out of this pack and then route the wires along the channel back to the emergency power disconnect. There's a little one out we had earlier. Pretty cool design. Now we're beginning the insertion process for module two by backing the car in under. Straight enough? Straight. That way. That way. This way? Yep. Just a little. Well, that way. Oh, yeah. Turn, yeah. Turn to your left. There you go. More? Yep. Keep going. Straight, stop. Straight. Slow, slow, slow. What are you guys doing with that phone? Uh, You'll get you yelled at if you ask about it. The rail. Huh? Are you, oh, you going to get over the rail? Are you going to reach in there and pick it up, lift it over the rail when the tabs come down? Right, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. The tab, about an inch. The tabs right here. I know, right but you got to clear there, too. Okay, we okay, we've got back. about an inch back here. I think we got to roll back. Just the straps are on the tabs, oh, by the way, guys. We got these. What? What do you want to do? Don't move in. Right. We'll just shift it as we go down. About another half an inch you can go and then drop it. Okay, that's good. Really? Yeah. All right. Do we have a brake? Do we want to chop the wheels or what are we going to do? Yeah, we're probably going to want to, we're going to, want to move it all around. Move it back can forth. you set that, move that styrofoam back onto that rail? And honestly, we don't need it. Now they're putting foam on so that when the two boxes are slid together, we get an airtight seal for the airflow. Very nice. So, top is going on the last module. And it is 1.20 in the morning on Friday. Tomorrow we have to do the last assemblies. Suspension, final wire up of the kits, and if our new parts show up from Manzanita Micro, we should be racing on Sunday morning. One, two, three, and nice. 400 pound pack. Keep coming. Keep coming. All right, now. Put it down on my fingers. I put it down on my fingers so I can move my back. It's better? It didn't hurt, bro. Yeah, yeah, it's it's enough. Next comes the transfer to the cradle. Rock a bye, baby. In the treetop. Oh, that's good, that's good. When the battery so falls. Ready? Oh, yeah, lower, hammer lower, 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 lower. Yeah, lower. Your head, dude. You can't really get it. Now under the sex swing. <laughs> In the stirrups. Okay, there went the PG rating yeah, on the on the video. Thanks, Alan. Beep.
All right, Saturday morning. I went out here about three o'clock last night. The Studley men stayed and kept working. And so as you can see, the modules are completely installed, secured and locked down. The cooling system has been wired in, is now controllable via switches in the front. That's what it looks like from in the trunk area. So now what's left is the high voltage wiring and that would allow us to unleash almost 4,000 amps at 370 volts and push this monster down the track. So I guess the hardest part's done. Oh, good morning Dave. Good morning. I suppose the uh, rear window might be nice. So yes, we got to install this rear window. That'll be a lot of fun. And then we have a pretty large punch list to work down involving things with the uh, suspension, brakes, etc.